Welcome to the Ace Pilot Academy. What does it take to move an airplane? Thrust, the forward force produced by the power plant, propeller, or rotor. It opposes or overcomes the force of drag. Most often, it acts parallel to the longitudinal axis, but not always. To taxi an aircraft, the pilot uses thrust created from the engine. The amount of thrust used must be greater than the force of drag. The propeller moves a mass of air backwards, which in turn moves the airplane forward. In a jet, hot gases are rapidly expelled backwards, which pushes the engines forward. Without thrust, the airplane is not moving. Now that we know the definition of thrust and how it works on the ground, let's explore thrust and its counterpart, drag. During straight and level flight, if thrust is increased, the airspeed will increase. It will continue to accelerate until the force of thrust equals the force of drag. If thrust is decreased, the airspeed will slow until the force of thrust equals the force of drag. Did you know straight and level flight can be accomplished at many different airspeeds? Lift varies with the angle of attack and airspeed. A large angle of attack with slow airspeed produces the same amount of lift as high airspeed with a low angle of attack. Aircraft speed regimes are grouped into three categories, low speed flight, cruising flight, and high speed flight. Low airspeeds require a rather large angle of attack to maintain altitude. If thrust is reduced, the airplane will lose airspeed and the component of weight will be greater than lift, causing the airplane to descend. By increasing the angle of attack, lift can be created to equal weight and return the airplane to straight in level flight, although at a much slower airspeed. If thrust is increased while in cruising flight, the aircraft speeds up and lift will increase. As lift increases, it is necessary to reduce the angle of attack in a timely manner so as not to gain altitude. Poor timing can result in unwanted climbs or descents. As airspeed varies to thrust, the angle of attack must also vary to maintain altitude. If thrust in speed decreases too much, the required angle of attack may increase to the critical angle of attack. Any further increase in angle of attack could lead to wing stalling. I hope you enjoyed this lesson on thrust. Join us again for more exciting topics. Thanks for joining us at the Ace Pilot Academy. See you next time.